Hey, welcome back. It's Jay Barino. I'm going to play the epilogue for Legacy of the Void, Into the Void. We finished up Legacy of the Void, and it was quite quite great. Now, I don't know what's going to happen in the epilogue, and it might be quite silly, because I have a feeling it's going to involve all the Zelnaga stuff. But pretty much everything about the game I really enjoyed, and in fact, the Zelnaga stuff that was added in, I feel like was added mostly to fill in the gaps that some of the shoddy writing of the previous installments had set up. So, for the most part, I was really, really happy with Legacy of the Void. Surpassed my expectations by a ton. Let's get started, though, right away. At great cost, Eamon has been expelled from the galaxy by the united efforts of the Protoss, yet all is not resolved. Within the Void, something ancient is stirring, sending out a desperate sound at call to any who will listen. Alright, let's uh, continue with hard, but I have to say, that last mission was crazy. Beckoned by Kerrigan, Kerrigan's psionic transmission, a group of Terran and Protoss forces have convened upon Alnar, the desolate homeworld of the Zelnaga. Their purpose remains unclear. Gathering within the Spear of Adun's War Council, Raynor and Artanis now await the arrival of the Queen of Blades. The Protoss are excellent at pushing into dangerous locations, destroying all opposition. Be the vanguard for your allies in this mission. Cool, and you know what? This is what I kind of wanted. It's not the way that the campaign, the real Legacy of the Void campaign ended. It wasn't like a let's all get together and fight under the world tree. I mean, it kind of was, but it was all strictly Protoss. Now we're getting the Terran and the Zerg involved. We're going to have Raynor and Kerrigan and Artanis all fighting together, which, you know, I kind of like. I mean, we spent the whole t campaign rounding up the Protoss, and it was kind of a let's all get together story. It was a feel-good story. The ending speech of Ar that Artanis gave with reforming the the Protoss civilization and disregarding their old prejudices and be just being respectful to one another. It was just, uh, it's great. And I, I mean, again, it, it lacks the tone of the, it lacks the gritty tone of the original StarCraft, but it presented something new, and I feel like it wrapped up what the first two installments failed to do well. We have waited long enough within this accursed realm. If the Queen of Blades truly wishes to speak, she would be here now. She ain't gonna stand us up, Solendus. If she says it's important, you better believe it is. Trusting this deceiver is not an act I am accustomed to, Commander. Such little faith for a Templar. Artanis. Jim. So what's going on, Sarah? What's so urgent you got us all here for? Amon lives. His hatred festers in the void. And he already plans to return. Even now, I hear a voice calling me. This may be the great enemy's trickery. This voice is not his. There's something else in there. Something tormented and desperate. But it's benevolent. Amon's strength grows by the moment. He may not return during our lives, but he will return. And what is it you suggest we do, Kerrigan? There is a gateway to the Void, within Alnar. I intend to go through it and destroy the Fallen One once and for all. I need your help. Sarah's right. We can't kick this can down the road. This burden is ours, like it or not. Zeratul foresaw that this day would come. You have our blades, Kerrigan. Wait a minute. Are you telling me Blizzard is actually going to resolve a plotline fully and not leave it open in some cliffhangy way? I'm not going to jump to conclusions. We haven't gotten there yet. All the combined fleets. Things are going sideways real fast. These shadows are tearing apart our ships. We're not going to last long out here. The voice is coming from up ahead. We have to reach it. My forces will investigate. This is very interesting. I'm actually quite glad that they didn't make this. Oh, we're forced to have annihilators. 
I'm actually quite glad that this isn't part of the main story. Your warriors are close now, Artanis. I can sense it. We must find the corruption and clear it. The shadows are slowly consuming our warriors. Strike true, Templar! So how much does the how much do these do? 200 damage, it's not mitigated by anything. I'm not sure what's going on with this thing coming from the are coming from that rift. Destroy it. Okay, well. The, I'm glad that I had the opportunity to use these immortals because I didn't use them all, at all during the main game. Alright, let's not stand in this crap. I stand ready. Never mind, it's on it forever. I'm not sure what this is that's coming down. Oh, reconstruction beam. Okay. Again, this is all stuff that I didn't use. That voice. It is my former master. Tassadar. Do as he says. Motherfucking Tassadar's down here. Oh, this is where he's been the whole time, I suppose. I should check what my other abilities are. I called to you in dire need. Now you have come to this realm. Here I am prisoner. You must free me from his grasp. Whose grasp? Ah, the queen. What a pleasant surprise. Nerud, I thought you were dead. Without form, we, the Zelnaga, return to the void. Here, I live on. But you will not be so fortunate. What the hell? This is crazy. So Tastar's down here being held prisoner by Nerud? This is... This is wild. I am not okay. Oh, and there's the Hyperion. All bases, all allied bases must survive. Get ready, Artanis. Narud's forces are heading towards Jim's position. My swarm will be there to help. My Templar will join you. In the name of Tassadar, we shall be victorious. Look, it's a little weird, but it, this is kind of cool. I, I'll, I'll be the, I'll be the one to say it. I find this to be pretty neat. Oh, there's Stukov. Everybody's here. Wait, who else? Who else we got? Well, there's the Hyperion, which means Swan and Horner are here too, and Stepman and what have you. There's Kerr again. And then Stukov was just like hanging out over here. That's great. Okay, I'm pleased with this. Um, it's just kind of a, a a nice little roundup, and uh, I don't know, just kind of neat. Maybe I'm uh, incredibly sleep deprived and don't realize how strange this is, but I have to say I think this is pretty cool. Defeat Nerud. Okay. And large attack coming in. What is that? The Avoid Rift. Oh, lordy. So what do we even have? Deploy Pylon. Solar Lance we never even got to use. Let's give this a shot. Oh, we have three. Maybe I should have used this in the past. This seems pretty good. Yep, sure does. That Thrasher is tearing into my face. Hit it with everything you've got. <laughs> that Thrasher is tearing into my face, he says. Okay, well, let's back up. I need to build more stuff. So, Stalkers, and I want Colossi. Of course, Colossi. I need to go down and around. Get him, Stukov! Oh, no, Stukov's gonna go down. I wonder if the uh, if the friendly heroes can rebuild, or, like, be resummoned, basically. Okay, well, he's gone. Let's hit it with my crazy good, uh... There we go, it's gone. So let's hit it with my crazy good shadow cannon. We did it. There is no time to celebrate, friend Raymond. Nerud will surely send another soon. We should use this time to advance. This is one of the most interesting, kind of out of place. Again, I'm glad that this isn't part of the main campaign, but it feels like it's like actually going to tie something up for once, which we never really had before. And it's a kind of a, it's a kill everything map, which I know some people have always been just yearning for, day in and day out. So now they'll they'll finally get it. it. Seems like we have to destroy those machines, and we'll be able to push forward. How much? How many minerals are here? Convenient that there's these random minerals inside the void. It's not really clear what the void is, but I'm fine with it. This is kind of neat. All right, robotics bay. You know, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't ready for all of this to be over. I had. Uh, 
some reasonable trouble <laughs> staying awake, and then also I had some some frequent frequent crashes, which I think may be due to the fact that my heat sink is not uh, properly mounted. Maybe it came unseated. Badoon, this is Hyperion Actual. There are several strategic positions up ahead. We should make a point of securing them. A fine idea, Admiral. If these locations can be cleared of enemy forces, we could establish forward positions. Okay, well that's good to know. That means my allies will, will move up. So what kind of zealots do I have? Okay, I have sentinels. We gotta get rid of this crap. I think this, this is what's spawning enemy units, so getting rid of these will be really, really helpful. I spawned shields on myself. I'm kind of glad I took the time to see what this other stuff does, just so I know. I do quite like the reconstruction beam. That's pretty nice. All right, back up. Oh, that's a... Oh, those are the Dominion. That's the Dominion that's here and helping me. I was wondering what the hell that was. All right, we got our Zealots back. Those uh, reconstructing Zealots are pretty nice. It depends on what kind of situation you're in. In some, most situations, you just want to replace your Zealots anyway. Just, there we go. They're, they're all gone. Got to get home. Right on. My boys are setting up some defenses here. This is not the time for pylons. Alright, I did it. I, I hated to do that, but I did it. And you know what? It'll help my uh, allies kind of get set up as they move forward. Okay. Wow, that lasts for a really long time, doesn't it? Now I'm really obsessed with making these uh, destroyers, but I shouldn't. I shouldn't get too attached to them. I just really want some more... I just want some colossi, actually. Now that I can afford them... There we go. We're just going to get a reasonable amount of them. We've got the the warp in, which is nice. Okay, and what's up here? You know what? This is probably a good opportunity to help my allies. It's pretty neat. It's very intuitive to use, too. Will fall this day. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will, Duran. I wonder if maybe at the end there'll be even like a, a shout-out to her calling him Duran, like, I know who you are, or some bullshit like that. Dropping some troops at your front line, Sarah. What do you say, Artanis? You feel like joining in? I do, but I have a feeling that I'm going to get smoked while I'm away, but hey, let's do it. Oh, Stukov is back. He does come back. Dropping some troops at my front line, huh? Let's get down here and help them. Eh, she seems fine, actually. Let's go with them. Make sure that they can actually set up a front line position. Interestingly made map, I will say that. Very, uh... Interesting. Need more gas, for sure. Okay, and there's our awesome destroyers, which possibly now my one of my favorite units, considering the, uh... What? What? Oh, okay. So it, that's coming around and attacking my, my buddies. So there's, like, three lanes, basically. We gotta push our way up. I also want to defend myself, so let's get, uh... Some cannons set up, and let's go around and help Sarah. I probably should have helped her a little earlier. Okay, don't stand in that. Now turn and fight. Whose is this? Oh, Void Force is interesting. Okay, get <coughs> rid of this because it's spawning units. Meanwhile, let's move in and kill this stupid thing. Back out of that. My poor Zealot's gonna die. Okay, and let's just hit it with uh, with our big particle cannon thingies, whatever they are, shadow cannon. I am so out of it if it's not clear. I understand my con my commentary has gone from mediocre to bad to worse. We got it. Throughout the day, <laughs> so I don't know what to say about that. This is a good opportunity, I think, for this. And I wonder if this damages buildings as well. Honestly, I kind of wish I would have uh, built this now. Okay, what is that? Yeah, Solar Lance. I should have done that in retrospect. I never tried it. I never tried it. I never had a good opportunity to give it a shot. Alright. Get some more Zealots. And... Yeah, you know what? Honestly, this whole game, I feel like, has been kind of a... Like a fan shout-out. Like, I feel like they... There's there are a lot of people that have unreasonable complaints. Like the basically the way they present themselves is look, they're never going to be happy with these games ever, and that's fine. That's their opinion. But there are some people that present you know just opinions that are like you know I find inconsistencies here and there, and I feel like they really went out of their way here to kind of clean that up. Which is I don't know I, I appreciate that. I feel like they actually they did a, they have done a good job so far. 
You can all hear him now, can't you? Yes, but there are still many questions. Does that mean, like, she could always hear him? Which is interesting to think about. I want to move up and clear this out very, very soon. Now I really wish I would have used different abilities in, uh, in the campaign. All right, let's drop this. And really, we just need gas. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, there's more corruption up there. I'd love to get rid of that building, but for now, let's just run. Let's take our Void Rays and our Colossi and move up and, and finish this up. There we go. Yeah, that that passive heal actually is pretty good. I should have, I really should have looked into these abilities. Again, like I was saying, I was kind of in a rush. Okay, move up. Here's one of the corruptions. And meanwhile, you guys come over here. Nope, all of you come over here and help me out. Help me out quickly. Got another Colossi coming up. Got another Void Ray coming up. There we go. Huh. Very interesting. Again, this sort of answers a lot of questions that didn't necessarily need answering, but it's it's saying, like, where was Tassadar? Why did we hear from Tassadar in the past? And um, maybe this was something better left unanswered, like, what is the void? You cannot resist forever, Raynor. You do not deserve to stand among gods. Wow, that's very rude of you to say. I mean, Raynor's pretty cool. Maybe you just don't know him that well. All right, let's push into this and use my, my beam, my beam zappy, here, and here, and here. That was pretty good. My forces are inbound. Protos, commander, we could use your assistance. What this, what this is, what this has, and why I like this so much is it's it's kind of cheesy, but it's 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 got camaraderie. It's got camaraderie between all the all the heroes that we used to really enjoy. Hanging out with. Nice work. We're securing the location now. Jim, expect some more support coming your way soon. Cool. So now Horner has moved up. And yeah, that's what that's what I mean. Like again, it's got camaraderie here between all the characters, and it, it's a little campy, but I like it. Got another one of these thrashers. Let's take it out. Okay. Well, let me push up in this direction. And um, I don't need to restore shields. Let's use shields. It'll it'll uh, give all of my allies shields as well. Pick up. I like that there's gas pickups. They realize they didn't give you enough gas. All right, and we'll burn this thing down before it gets more than one or two shots off. There we go. Their forces push forward. This bastard dies today. I actually think it's very fitting that Stukov is here because we're you know up against Duran and Duran kind of fucked him. So, mmm, that was nice. Let's keep pushing up in this direction, and we want to keep going and set up our our allies' forward bases as well. Okay, ooh, I see an expansion up there that I would really, really like. Let's wipe out this enemy base. They have very interesting production structures, that's for sure. What I can do now is uh, deploy a pylon. This area's clear. Let's get some bunkers down. Ooh, they're going to get some bunkers down. Does that mean that um, I can actually take the area and they'll let me have it? That's pretty nice of them. Get some colossi. And uh, let's take a probe and come on all the way up here. And I'll probably just continue up in this direction. I'm just going to time stop. I might as well. It's off cooldown, and there's a pretty large force up here, and we can get rid of it. And then we can swing over to the left and get the next allied expansion. I guess because my brain is shutting down slowly, um, I can't properly express my feelings on this mission. I guess I, can't, I already have, but it's, I find this neat. That's, that's the best way I can describe it. It's neat. <laughs> Is it necessarily something we needed? No, but I think it's a—it's uh, kind of a—it's kind of fan service. Maybe I'm incorrect with that. Some people may disagree, and they say this is the worst thing that that fans would have ever wanted for StarCraft. And to you, I say, you need to calm down a little bit. This is just fun. Like it's just kind of like straight fun. It's getting all the the previous heroes together and hanging out. I mean, we don't have Abathur, but this is going down now. we're almost there, man. Keep it up. Okay, man, these these destroyer void rays are just so good. Uh, let's swing down here and get the next expansion. We've got this set up here. Next uh, attack coming through. Void Ray and Colossi. We should be able to kill this thing. 
the Death Fleet descend. What's what's new? All right, let's push in this area and just uh, wipe all this out. Yep, I definitely should have gone with that. I was using the time stopping thing, which this kind of just seems better. I mean, it would have cost more uh, solar solar ride or whatever it's called, but ultimately that wouldn't have been a big deal. I'm gonna swing over to the right. Oh really? What do you think I'm doing, Tassadar? Give me a break. Okay, I'd love to deploy a pylon here, but I don't have enough energy. Very low on energy in general. I've got a lot of stuff here though, so I think I'm in good shape. Okay, so now let's queue all this up. Let's get ourselves some gas. Nice. You tell him, Kerrigan. Sarah, I'm sending over a few of my troops to help. Artanis, if you want to jump on in, we'd be much obliged. Uh, where? I would love to. Get a nice little joint attack going. Maybe up there. It's hard to tell. I'd rather just go and get someone else a forward base set up. Maybe one of these is going to be Abathur, which excites me. You know what I could really use are... Upgrades. Lots and lots of upgrades. Okay, we'll push out through this area. I could probably make another pylon over here just in case. And we're running out of money here, so let's transfer up in this direction. Poor Tassadar, he's been stuck here for a long time. I mean, it turns out that Amon wasn't even really a bad guy. Like, it was all Tassadar, and he was, like, impersonating Amon so that <laughs> we would come here and free him. I don't know. Oh, well, I guess in that case, Amon would have, uh, if Amon was keeping a prisoner, then he's not okay in my book. Oh god, which one is it? I, 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 there's no okay. That's bad. Ouch. Alright, let's clean this out. Let's see, uh, Kerrigan hopefully can defend herself. Alright, and then we have to back out of this and rebuild. We're taking a lot of damage here. There we go. Who's gonna set up shop here? Additional personnel inbound. Our production centers are getting prepared to supply Thors to the front line. Oh, good. It's like a semi-MOBA almost, except we're... We're supporting with uh, a full army instead of just like a hero. It's kind of cool. I want to come down and start attacking the next area. The Death Fleet. Okay, and there's a base over here that I should have taken quite some time ago, and I never did. Let's just cut up across the top here, and we can use our abilities because we've got a lot of energy. You know what I should be doing is using the shield recharge as we push into these areas that that eat away at our shields. What am I doing? All right, attack into here. And, uh, more, more stalkers and colossi. And, yeah, now shields. Let's see if that actually does anything. It seems like it. Oh, yeah. It's, it absorbs the damage. It's not, it's not a visible shield, which is interesting. Okay, well, let's just clear all of this out and then swing downward. Let's get up and get this gas as well. Our pylon is under attack. Don't care about the pylon, that's fine. It'll be fine. And, uh, Colossi. Oh, I didn't even do that. I think... I think my, my allies did that themselves. They got rid of the Thrasher. Good job, team. This area might not be the area that... Oh, God. Oh, God. No! Oh, okay, that was close. Can't absorb damage. Stop shooting Hunter Seeker missiles, you dick! Okay, well, we cleared that out. Kill the Overseers, kill everything. I lost a lot there, but that's okay. Now I'm ready to come down and take out the, uh, open up this Allied expansion. And I can't really afford to produce off of more gateways, so I'm not gonna build more. Next attack coming, let's group up and take it out. What I could, what I can do is do like this, at least to help. There we go. And we'll wipe out this attack very easily. And let us, let's set up a forward base down here. You know what I noticed I also think is cool is that Stukov is with the Terrans, he's not with Kerrigan. It's pretty nice. I wonder if he's technically with the Dominion now. I doubt it, but that'd be interesting. Alright, we gotta push in here. Let's just, let's just time stop, honestly. 
Does that freeze literally? It freezes literally everything. Yeah, you get him, Rainer. You get him, Rainer. Just because I want to see what happens, I'm going <laughs> to clean out all the allied expansions, because why not? Let's deploy a pylon over here. Okay, come on down here. Keep wiping all this crap out. Set up defenses here. We need to keep pushing forward. I do like how they still set up, like, mini defenses in this area. Man, Colossi Void Ray with some Stalker support is so cool. Okay, and we're just taking out all these weird machines. See this attack coming at me. Um, let's just kill it. Haha. <laughs> um, Alright, get rid of this corruption spreader. It's interesting that, like, we're in the void... Oh my god, I feel so bad for him. Let's get to him. Alright, let's push through here. I'm pretty much just clearing this whole map. Again, it's just sort of a straight-up fun map. You know what I also really like is that Rainer is defending my expansion. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so we're gonna take this all out. There we go. Now we can push in here and let Kerrigan move up. I assume this is gonna be Kerrigan. The area is secure, and these defenses should keep it that way. I can't even see what's gonna get hit with Hunter Seeker, so I'm not gonna bother. I, I can't I can't tell. If we're like in a red atmospheric area, it's gonna do damage to me, but for the most part it's okay. Okay, and just keep reinforcing out of these production buildings. Weak minded and feeble. A failed creation of a flawed cycle. Wow, you don't have to be a dick. Area secure. And we are implanting a hive cluster now. My queen, our mutalisks shall join the fight shortly. Here we go. Light him up. I think Narud has to know by this point he's screwed. Defend the Terrans. Give Narud a taste of your fury. See again that camaraderie where Stukov is telling the Zerg to go and defend the Dominion. It's so cool. I don't know. It... it it tugs at my heartstrings, all right? Maybe that's really sappy, and again, I, I realize that it's kind of campy, so... Again, talk about it in the comments. I know that there's people out there that just would not be satisfied with anything in this franchise anymore. So, I don't know. There's not much you can say that's gonna make much of an impact on what I think. But, again, I do know that some people, they're just, meh, unhappy about the whole franchise, and I question why they still play it, or even follow it, for that matter. Oh god, it's not time to go on rants. <laughs> It's, it's time to sleep soon. Let's just complete this, and I think there's going to be another mission after this. Maybe two, I don't know. Is it this one? Is it this one? I don't know, I can't tell. It doesn't matter, we're taking some... Let's... Oh, I don't have enough. Ow. <laughs> I think Hunter Seeker missiles collectively have done so much damage to me. Okay, we have another base. Maybe Ultralisks? I'm betting Ultralisks. Well done. This outpost will greatly benefit the swarm. Our ultralisks shall crush Narun and yep. his minions. Looks like those are all the locations we should need. We owe you, Hierarch. You sure do. Don't you worry about it, Matt Horner. We're buds. We're best buds now. Okay, let's push in here. Let's use our little shield to absorb damage. I mean, we already kind of fucked him up. It will be. We're about to murder the shit out of you, dude. He has no idea. Alright, get up here, Rainer. We're burning him down. I kind of want to back out and let all my allies get in on him. So let's kill what's up front here, and then we'll get to Narud later. Again, I kind of want my allies to be involved. So let's help them push through this. I mean, they shouldn't have a problem, but clearly they, they are having a bit of a problem. Let's just freeze everything. We lost a lot of stuff. Lots and lots. Alrighty. And... Let's see. Void Ray and... Can't quite get a Colossus yet. That's fine. Let's just get down here and clean all this out. The Death Fleet. I still like that. Ah, I see who it's on this time. I actually can tell. Okay, back out, back out. Is he rebuilding buildings? I can't tell. Hello, Buran. Do you remember what you did to me? Stupid. You have come to gloat, haven't you? No, I've 
come to say good night, you son of a bitch. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. Artemis, you must come to me. It is Tassadar, my mentor. How can this be? Honored one, to see you bring such joy to my... Tassadar, a form I chose to inspire action in the one called Zeratul. What? In you. The prophecies Zeratul followed, the result of my psionic extension into the minds of primitive beings. You are Zelnaga, the one who called to me. Who are you? Oros, last shepherd of the cycle, enemy of Amon. He is one with the Void. It is an extension of his will. Binding me as prisoner. Why have you summoned us here? The cycle must not be broken. The merging of purity of essence and purity of form must continue. You, the one called Kerrigan, can merge with my essence. Now, fulfill your destiny. Ascend as Zelnaga. Continue the infinite cycle. Zelnaga? You want to change her into one of you? Oh, damn it. Sarah! No! Only a Zelnaga can defeat the Fallen One. Sarah. You don't gotta do this. You don't have to let yourself be mutilated again. Together, no, we'll... Jim. With all I've done, the lives ruined, worlds destroyed, there's blood on my hands. I need to cleanse it. This is my destiny. Wow. We learned a lot this uh, this campaign or this mission for rather. Uh, so we learned that the Terran were part of another cycle of evolution that was considered failed by the Zelnaga. We learned that the Tassadar that we first met in Wings of Liberty as Zeratul when he went to hang out with the over the dead Overmind carcass was not really Tassadar. So Tassadar is just straight up dead. Um, Tassadar's ghost was this Uros Zelnaga fellow, and Uros also created all of the prophecies to basically get Kerrigan there so that she could merge with him. That's why she's the chosen one, so that she can kill Amon. And, of course, the group camaraderie, Stukov killing Duran slash Narud, was quite fulfilling, albeit, again, a little campy, but I thought it was great. All right, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. When we come back, we will continue. I think there's only one mission left. We'll see. See you then. Bye now.